Hello guys, welcome back to Small God of War. In the last episode we killed the bridge keeper, I managed to steal his heart from inside his body. And this episode now is now time to heal Atreus and get him back in the fight. Luckily he's in Freya's care right now and if we bring the bridge keeper's heart to Freya, she can heal him up again. So the way to get back to Freya is through this door here, but unfortunately we cannot go through yet. Luckily I have an idea. Quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? Yeah. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. So now we can now use the winds of hell. I love this. Using the winds of hell is so cool. Winds of hell. Winds of hell are very unstable and can only be held for 10 seconds before returning to the last wind trap. Yep, and now we can open the door this way. Thanks, Brock. It's very handy he was here. It's not very safe for him to be here, though. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. Yeah, probably once upon a time. Okay, so now, this part of the game here is pretty much just, a, well, pretty much you... Not really a tutorial as such, but just a little area where you can practice using the Winds of Hell. I love using the Winds of Hell though, it's so cool. It really gives the Blades of Chaos more purpose in the game. So they're just like using them against enemies. I'm so happy they brought the Blades of Chaos back for this game. I didn't think, as I got further through the game, I just didn't think I'd ever bring the Blades of Chaos back, but they actually did, which I'm really happy for. It really brings back the old vibe from the original God of War games. Actually, before I use that, let's put it back in there quick. I'm going to head up here quick, see what's up here. Oh, more rage could come in handy. We've got some more smashes up, see what there is. Just health. I don't really need to use this, but I'll use it anyway. Okay, what's this? Ah, uh, we got one of these. I don't think my blades can work. No, my blades do not work. The only way I can blow that up is if I use Atreus' arrows, but unfortunately Atreus isn't here right now, so I can't go that way. We'll come back that way a bit later if we do come back this way. The Winds of Hell is pretty simple to use, it's not that difficult to use. When you start using it, it's very quick to learn and easy to use. Okay, got more enemies down here. Oh, guess finish them off. As we record this episode, it is the end of May of 2022. I think um, the PlayStation Plus Premium is launching in Japan this week, I believe. I think it is, anyway. British and the Americans have to wait a bit longer in order for PlayStation Plus Premium to launch near mid-June, the end of June. You lucky Americans get PlayStation Plus just before us Europeans do, we get it. The Americans get PlayStation Plus Premium like in mid-June and we get it. Us Europeans get it in late June, I believe. So far, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. Some of the PS1 games have been announced for it and I'm actually really excited to play those again. Games like the original Ape Escape on PS1, that was such a fun game back in the day. I do still have the physical copy of that to play on my emulator PS3, but unfortunately my copy does not work on the PS3, which is really annoying. Once the game is booted up, I cannot use the controller up because nothing happens in the game. I tried that on two PS3 models and it's exactly the same problem. Maybe it's just a problem with the emulation process or something, I don't know. But what I do know is that my, my copy of Ape Escape, or Ape Escape in general, does not work on emulated PS3 systems. Okay, we've got this guy. This guy looks like an enemy out of Dark Souls. It's good job I'm not playing Dark Souls right now, because if I was, this guy would kill me very easily, knowing how, knowing me, how badly I am at Dark Souls. I need to get someone to teach me how to play Dark Souls someday. So I do really enjoy the combat mechanics of Dark Souls, but it's such a shame it is such a difficult game in places. Yeah, I definitely need someone to teach me how to play it, someone who can help me get better at it. Yes, I'll say no, I can't wait for PS Plus Premium over all the PS1 games that are coming. I know Worms Armageddon and Tekken 2 have also been confirmed for the PS1 library as well, which is pretty nice. 
Still no confirmation of any new PS2 games yet though, which is a bit disappointing. Those are the games, I'll, I wanna know if there'll be any more PS3 games available. So I don't think my ex is working against him, so I guess go back for the blades. Oh, that's a heavy attack. Ah, oh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. God, am I even doing damage to this guy? What's here, if I finish? Is there any health around here? Whoa. Okay, looks like I am actually doing damage to him. Okay, let's finish him off this time. There we go. What's this? Deadly war handles. Low perk activation chances to go on to gift of strength for any successful kill. Let's read that in the menu quick. So it's like I, I can equip this stuff. Yeah, I think I'd rather equip that. All right, very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my attention on these guys. Shame we've got not a Traeus here to help me out, but when, the sooner we get back to Frey, the sooner we can get a Traeus back in the fight. The sooner I can use his bow to help me out. It does. It did feel a little bit weird not having a Traeus fight alongside me when I played this part of the game for the first time. Finish him off. Nice. Die, you son of a bitch. There we go. That's him dead. Oh, actually, what's up here? Is there anything up here, quick? Oh, there's another chest here. I didn't open this up last time we were here. Got some more hack silver. Very nice. Next time I see Brock, I think I'll need to do some upgrades to some of my... some of my armour and weapons as well with that hack silver. Actually, I think it'll probably be at some point in this episode, I'll probably need to upgrade some of my abilities for the Blades of Chaos as well, if there is any... any more abilities to upgrade. Must be very careful here. What's he gonna do? There's no way I'm dying here. No chance of my dying here. Oh, that's health. Pick it up, pick it up. Nice. I don't think there's any more health around here. Okay, I found a bit of health. Almost died. We need to be careful this part of the game as well because unfortunately we haven't got a Treyas to use this resurrection stone on Kratos, which is really annoying. Fortunately. So if I lose all my health, that'll be me good as dead. I've only died once in this Let's Play so far, actually, which is quite impressive. Well, actually twice, but once I, d I did die deliberately at that point, though. Yeah, to show you guys what happened if you took the wrong path. Back in that area we were at a few episodes ago. Okay, I think that's all the enemies around here. Oh, maybe not. Speaking of the devils, it, there's more of them. Oh, I smash these up quickly. Hopefully that's some health. No. Nope. Oh boy. Come on, I don't want to die now. I've done so well to survive this far. Oh, health please. Yep, thank you. There we are, that's him down. Right, now time to focus my attention on these guys. Oh, that guy shot some more health. There we are. Okay, that's all of them dead. That was actually a pretty close call back there. Ah, he's Brock. Not yet. Got plenty of hack silver, so I'm going to upgrade some of my stuff. Hmm. Let's have a look, see what I can upgrade. Okay, that reduces the cooldown a little bit. So I might go for this, actually. Uh oh. Fortunately I can't get that stuff. Bit of a shame. So I can claim all these lost items. Alright, fair enough. Okay, I guess I won't do much upgrade at this point. I think we'll wait a bit longer. So we need to realm travel back to Midgard and get to Atreus quickly. Hopefully Atreus is holding up just fine. Midgard is the center of the realm, so return to Midgard, press triangle. Okay. That easy. Your father, Zeus? I finally understand. 
understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't... Mimir, be careful what you say here. You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Yeah, I would definitely. I wouldn't say anything to Trask because Tr if Mimir did tell Trask, Kratos would just grab Mimir's head and just step on it, and he'd be dead. Yeah, I'd strongly advise Mimir not to tell Atreus anything about Kratos' past. So I can't go back this way. Hmm. Actually, Let's see if I can use this, or I've got to go to Brock. I think. If I didn't break it, then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Oh, can I go through now? Perhaps I have to wait for Brock to finish talking. Nope. Okay, I'm a bit s Oh, hold on. Ah. I thought I had to use this. Just go, brother. Okay, so I want to go to the Witch's Cave's upper level. We'll take the quick way back to Atreus. Oh, back here again. This is where I died the second time when I went on the wrong path. I'm definitely not doing that again, that's for sure. The time I died here, I did actually do it deliberately to show you guys what happened if you took the wrong path. If you went over here and if you pressed the circle bunch, Kratos would jump down and he would die. Yeah, don't do that. Alright, because so right now, let's get back to Atreus and get him back in the fight. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. Yep, no time to waste. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is too ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm 
better now. I see that. Was he well enough to travel? For now. They won't harm it again. I promise. You see that it does not. Complete the sickness. Yay, the boy is back in the fight. Yeah, Kratos better not forget this. If I'm afraid, your boy would still be alive. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venom, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago, but it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon, you can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Okay, now what? Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Okay, I think we've done enough talking. Let's get out of here. Come on, boy. It's good to have the boy back again. Now then, before Modi so hey boy, look what I've got. The Blades of Chaos. Tears vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Where is the boy? I'm surprised the boy has not questioned my new weapon yet. You know, swinging it right in front of him. Maybe he's not in the mood to talk. He has just healed up after all. I was a bit surprised the first thing Trace did not question the Kratos' new weapon. Eventually, a time will come where, where Kratos will have to tell Atreus his true nature. But how is Kratos going to tell him that? Sure. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Where's the boat? Oh, there it is. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do 
not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. I don't think Kratos would tell Atreus he's a god straight away, although I don't think you really have much choice at that point. Not as you do. That's no surprise. Yeah, Kratos could have said it worse. I wouldn't be able to explain it any better than him, to be honest with you. Like father, but I'll have abilities on my own. You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, that explains a lot. Right back to really? That's why Balder is after us. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again. You may be a god, boy, but don't overdo it. Maybe too early, maybe, for Trace to find out, but as long as Kratos can keep his that behavior at bay. Hopefully, Modri won't come out and ambush us this time. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Okay, so what do I do around here? Let's go have a look around. Surely I'm missing something. Hmm. What are you doing, boy? Still quite surprised he has not questioned my new weapon yet. Is that the answer there? Says Earth. Hmm. Swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. Aha, here we go. I was a bit confused for a second on what to do. I wish I had known I was a god now, fine. I wouldn't have 
felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. Not yet, anyway. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. I think it's a good job we have Emir here to explain everything easier to Atreus, I think. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim now. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Could this elevator have travelled any slower? Anyway, let's head in here, see what's inside. We need to retrieve the black room. Oh, well, I think I remember this room. Area discovered. Tyra's vault. I think I do remember this room, actually. I think if this is the bit, I think it is. Yes, I think it is this part. Naturally. I can't lie to you guys, though, this part of the game is easily my least favourite part of the game. When I first played this game, this part always used to confuse me. In fact, it probably still will now when we play this part of the game. So I think as this bit was a bit confusing last time I played this, I think I'll save this off for the next episode and we'll figure this out in the next episode. Before we end things off, though, let's quickly upgrade some abilities. Look at all those points I've got. Wow. I've definitely got to spend some of this stuff. As we've got Atreus back in the fight, let's upgrade some of his abilities. Yeah, it's good to have the boy back in the fight. I mean, really, I'm just upgrading this stuff. I can't do anything else to my Blades of Chaos at the moment. We'll worry about that a bit later. Because R2 after a last second block to counter the attack with the Shield Slam. Alright. That could come in handy. What else can I upgrade? I think that might be it for now. I don't think I'll be using the the, the uh, Lefting Axe much now, now we've got the Blades of Chaos. Who knows? We'll upgrade some stuff anyway. In case I do need to use this at some point. Okay, there we are. Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you want to keep updated with all the God of War episodes uploaded to my channel. And next episode, we'll explore Tyra's file and see if we can solve this. Hope to see you all then. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Goldiex, and I'm out. With a little help from Brock. Brock was there too? I... but... We'll get back to this later.